Hi everyone, welcome to the Python tutorial for computational chemistry. As you know, in the previous video, we were focusing on learning the different data types of Python. Today, we will start learning the different data structure types of Python, and we will start with Python list. And from the name, lists are used to assign multiple values to a single variable. And to create a list, the syntax is you set a list list name and then you say equal and you create square brackets and you set your elements separated by by commas etc for example if i did some energy calculations and i have some energy values and i want to assign these values as a list in python in and, and call the list energy simply you can say energy equal to square brackets and say say 32 15 minus 45 17 and minus 6 and then save it in python and when you want to call it you just print the name of your list okay so here is my list and then you can use this list in further calculation of python or or call a specific element for from the list and do some calculation over it or slice this list and that we will learn now in the next minutes so be before i go on i want to to emphasize that the type of data in the list can be something else other than integers because this list is made of only numbers, integers, but also it could include floats or strings. For example, you can create a list called data and it may have an integer 4 and float 3.5. And it could have, uh, for example, string, call it protein because I like proteins. And then you can, you can ask Python to print your data and let's run it. Okay, and and one more thing also other than different data types, you can create an empty list. I can ask Python to create an empty list. Okay, and then print it. And you will know later why I need to create an empty list because you may append or add some elements to an empty list in, 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 in your code, okay? So the first thing we learned how to create a list and different data types can be included within the list. Let's get back to our energy energy list and I want to ask you a question what is the length of this list? So you will start counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and you are right the length of my list is 5 but you cannot do this all the time because you're gonna have a list made of a very very long element sequence like thousand or even ten thousand or hundred thousand or whatever so you cannot go by counting and luckily python have a function which is called len and you write the name of your list and this will will, will return the length of your of, of your list for example we can ask python to make a, a variable called l which is the length of my list and I'll ask Python to give me the length of my energy, okay? And then I will ask Python to print L. And let's run it. Yeah, missing parentheses again. <laughs> I always do this mistake. So, it's just simple, you know. I, I just forget to add the parentheses in the print function, okay? So, it told me that your length is, is 5. So this is would be very important to know the length of your of your list if it is very long. We cannot spend time on counting one by one. The next thing I want to explain is how to access different elements in in your list. And this to access an element, what you need to use is the index operator. I mean, I can ask Python to print a specific element of my energy list so i will use the index operator but there's something at ricky that i think as a beginner if you want to print the first element of this list you would go directly and write here one so let's write one and see what will happen 
oh, it, 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 it returned out the second element, which is 15. So the reason for that is the indexing in Python is starting from zero. So this is not the first element. This is the zero index in Python. This is one, two, three, four, and this is very important to know. So if I want to access the first element, I should make this zero and it will print me the, uh, the, the first element. And also, instead of writing 0, 1, 2, 3, Python has a nice, uh, you know, navigation mode, which is using minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. And if you use a minus 1 here, it will, it will get you the last element of your, of your list. Let's see what will happen. Okay, it got me minus 6. And I can make it minus 2. What you're expecting is, it will get me the second element after my uh, last element, okay? Again, I will go minus three and and so on. Okay, so now we learned how to access an element in different elements in, in our list. Okay, the second thing which is based on indexing is how to slice. I want to slice a sublist and to slice a sublist from from a list, it's very easy. What you just is you need to use is the index operator and use the column okay for example we want to make sub sub energy call it sub energy and we want to include only the the first two elements okay so what you need to do is you need to write the name of your list okay and then what you need to do is you write the index so I want the, the the first the first two elements and I will make something tricky here if I make you would say yeah it's starting from zero so let's make zero and one and see what will happen intentionally I want to make some mistake here okay oh it gives me only the first element but we learned that it starts from zero and zero and one will give me the first two elements but this is because the slicing f function in, 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 in Python doesn't include the second one so you have if you want to include the first uh, two elements you have to make it to the third index so I should make it to two which is zero one two it will it will return me the first two not including the the last one okay so let's say run. Okay, it get me the the first two two elements. Okay, and also something interesting is if you don't assign the the the, the, the starting from 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 your, from your slicing and keep it empty, Python will automatically start from from the beginning of the list. So nothing will change. And what we what could do also similarly if you you, you keep the, the 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 first indexing and you keep this empty, it will go to the end of the list automatically okay this is very important because you, you sometimes you need to you have a huge uh, data set or we have a huge list and you want to, to sub sub list it okay so we are done with this quickly before i lose my have seven minutes you know my battery is dying is i want to add or remove an element from my list and for this we use the function append okay for example, I want to I want to 